<laughs> hey YouTube, it's me, Zipster. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? I hope you will. I don't know if you can hear it. There's a lot of background noise here. My desktop computer sounds like it's shredding paper. I, I know that's not a good thing. And I got my air conditioner on because it's a little toasty around here. But anyway, so please excuse that if you can hear it. Okay, so, I'm on the phone um, just this evening talking to one of my friends, and we're talking about online dating, and, well, dating in general, and how weird it can be, and it was just awkward. And um, I was telling her <laughs> a story that I'd quite forgotten. It was about two years ago, I guess. It was, like, before, you, before I discovered YouTube, you know? So it was, like, summer of two years ago, or something like that. Maybe three. Who the hell knows? But I, was, I used to be on AOL. And there was a chat room I used to go into on AOL, and I knew, you know, I knew a lot of people there. It was an area chat room, you know, and so everybody eventually got to know each other. Plus, I knew a lot of these people from the bar I used to manage. Anyway, so all of a sudden, this new person comes in, and he's like, sends me a little PM, and it's like, hey, Zip. And I'm like, hey, what's up? And he's like, oh, you know, interesting profile, and, you know, all the regular crap. And so I'm like, well, you know, so tell me something about you. And he's like, well, I'm 23 years old. And I'm a houseboy, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, um, you're 23, you realize I'm like in my 50s. And he's like, oh yeah, but I, I think older men are like really cool. And I'm like, boing, jackpot, you know, whatever. So, um, we're talking about, he's like, well, where do you live? And I gave him a basic, you know, kind of idea. And he's like, oh my God, I live, well, it turns out he lived like six blocks away from me. So he's like, well, why don't you come over? The people that I'm house, you know, that I'm house boying for, house sitting for, are on vacation for the whole summer. So I have the place to myself. So why don't you come over? We'll have a drink and chat. I'm like, oh, okay, six blocks. Yeah, what the hell? So I tried to doozy myself up a little bit, you know, make me look halfway decent for my little 23 year old Asian house boy. <laughs> okay, so I drive on over there. And, um, nice little place. I remember, just, you know, noticing the deads, like, architecture, sculpture out front, sculptural architecture out front. Interesting place. Anyway, so, dude opens the door, and this dude is, like, 40 if he's, like, a day, okay? And I'm, like, thinking, well, maybe this is the father, or I don't know. But, well, no, it wasn't. And, um, he gave me a big smile, and I know I got a lot of nerd talking about this, but he was, like, missing a couple of teeth, and quite frankly, I think having none looks better than just missing a couple. Anyway, <laughs> I know I'm going to hear about that one. So I'm like, you're whatever his name was, and he's like, well, yeah, why don't you come in? And I'm like, okay, and so I come in, and he said, I'm going to I'm gonna change, I'm, I just got done doing some gardening, make yourself a drink. I'm like, oh, shit. So I went over to the, to the bar, and I poured myself, like, a triple vodka and put a little splash of, like, seven up on top of it. I thought, I'm gonna need this. So I'm sitting there having my drink, and I'm waiting and waiting, and there's nothing and there's nothing. All of a sudden, this dude comes out of his room. I swear to God, he's wearing a negligee. Like, what? you know what I'm talking about. One of them floor-length, like, see-through, like, nightgown things with a little bed jacket with fur around it and I'm like oh my god he's like what do you think and I'm like oh th that's very nice okay now we hadn't even had any kind of conversation yet so I'm thinking oh, let me chug this damn drink and I finished that drink down real quick he said oh you want another one I'm like yeah he's like what are you drinking I'm like triple vodka with a splash so he gave me another one, and he starts in about, now you do realize, if I move in with you, I'm going to, um, I'm going to need my own cell phone. I mean, all, I'm like, if you move in with me, what are you, freaking crazy? All of a sudden, my, my mind is like going a million miles a minute. It's like, I gotta get out of here, I gotta get out of here, I gotta get out of here. I'm like, oh man, do you know what time it is? And he's like, yeah, it's five of nine. I said, oh my God, I'm supposed to meet my friends at 9 o'clock to watch American Idol. And I like splashed down the rest of my drink and I ran the hell out of there. And I, that was the last time I did any kind of online dating. Because you know what? Those people were full of sh That was a good whistle. They're full of shit. Anyway, so yeah, just thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Love you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry if that was more information than you really wanted from me. It's not that I'm gay, it's just that I am known to date boys occasionally. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs>